Hello, good afternoon. This is Dr. Kuro Fix. Today we're going to be talking about the reason why your compressor make noise. Okay, uh, the noise that your compressor make most often times actually to draw your attention, which uh, can actually be as a result of one part or component that is failing. Most often times it can be very easy fix, and some other time it can be expensive fix as much as uh, which can be just uh, uh, replacing the entire system. Now let me start with the smaller one. Okay, the first smaller one which you're going to be noticing in the system when you have uh, that kind of a problem, I kept these two compressors here so I can be able to give you exactly what you need to look out for because these two compressors might appear to be the same but they are not the same. This is the older compressor and this is a newer model. How do you differentiate between these two? The both of them have pulleys, but one of them, the pulley rotates independently from the clutch, while the other one, the pulley and the clutch rotates together. You can see this one I'm holding the clutch, the, what you should be seeing as a clutch, which is actually the flywheel, and it's rotating with the pulley. But this one here, as I'm rotating this clutch here, the flywheel, is not uh, the pulley is not moving so this is the older system this is a sanding compressor for uh, Volkswagen Golf Mc3 and this is for Toyota 2010 model so why I'm showing you these two compressors is that they can actually have the same problem on the first smaller one and what's that problem that's gonna be creating that noise is a bad bearing this guy right here right this is the bearing right here and this one, the bearing is still very good. This one here is for Denso Toyota uh, model, precisely. So when this bearing fails, right, when it has cracked inside it, or for any reason, any of the bearing inside isn't as round and smooth as it's supposed to be, maybe oil dried out of it or the grease dried out of it, then it's gonna start making this compressor to start, uh, making a rattling noise so that rattling noise you can often most often times you can notice it as soon as you put on the ac on it will start making a wumbling noise so that is the number one then the two the second part which uh, can actually cause a compressor noisy compressor is a defective internal structural component a defective internal structural component like in this case this is actually for vw so this one here they have this kind of noise inside it you can see there is uh, some little debris of iron if i take you closer you're gonna see there are some bunch of little little iron right there the reality here and you can see some structural defect here because this one here one of the piston just knock out so it can actually happen so when you have a structural defect it's gonna start making a rattling noise when you put on the AC system and not only that, the system efficiency pulling is gonna drop. So that's when uh, the first one which I told you here is the clutch, if the, uh, the, the pulley, sorry, the, the, the bearings. If the bearing is bad, like you can see here, let me show you, this one we've removed the bearing and we put it in some other one that we needed to use it to do some job because some of them they match and some of them doesn't match some of them match on the external diameter but on the internal that doesn't match so we often time use it to fix some other ones so if you have a, a car that when you click you give a AC command for the compressor to engage and engage and start hearing a rattling noise one way to actually determine if it is the bearing that is bad or it has a structural failure like this one here is you want to notice how the system is performing if the system performance didn't drop if the cooling inside the vents if the air coming out of the uh, vents doesn't uh, stop being cold and it's still very cold then there is every 90 percent chance that what you have in there is a bad bearing and that is a very less expensive fix when you have that but let's say in a situation where you got a you you you, you press your AC button to put AC on and you start hearing the rattling noise and uh, there is something you notice in here 
One thing you're noticing here is that the cooling dropped dramatically and the noise is still there, then there is every 90% chance that there is a structural failure right in there. And those structural failure can actually be attributed to either a broken pistons. There are pistons that are inserted into the cylinders here. So it could be that these uh, pistons are broken and when it does that, it's gonna leave a lot of particles, dead and debris uh, in the system here that's gonna be creating a disruption. Then the second phase on the structural failure can actually come without where the, uh, the piston is in a situation, a condition where the pistons are still in a very good condition, right? But some of the, com uh, some of the ingredients which you added inside the system is missing. And when those situations happen, what I'm talking about here is no or uh, insufficient lubrication inside the system. If you don't know very well, most of you guys, you should know that this compressor here is technically speaking an engine, a car engine. So in, it has piston inside and it has a moving part inside. That's the only moving part inside the car AC system. So aside the, uh, the, the, the expansion valve, which the thermostat there moves up and down. But this one here, there are moving parts, a lot of moving parts inside that needs lubrication. So if it lost its uh, lubricant fluid due to the fact that there is a leak somewhere, anywhere, then it's gonna result into the system like this one here. It's gonna result into structural failure, but those structural failure can actually, some of them can be very easy fix. Those easy fix there is gonna be just a little bit of a rattling noise. If just a little bit of rattling noise, when you add an oil into it, let's say like uh, five mil or 10 mil, right? You add the first five mil to it, then you listen. And if you add the second uh, five mil to it again, and the noise didn't go away, if it is due to because there is a lack of oil inside the system, when you add the first five mil, the noise is gonna reduce. When you add the second uh, five mil to complete it 10, it's gonna reduce again. So if you add it up to two or three, 15 mil, and the noise didn't go away, then it is very huge uh, structural failure. And at that, there is nothing you can be able to do about it than to replace the entire compressor assembly. And uh, replacing it, if you're going to replace it yourself, it's gonna take a very um, precise and uh, critical approach because if you don't take that very seriously, any compressor you get into the system is gonna die. Now let's take a look at the sanding compressor here. You suppose you're having uh, this kind of noise inside the system here, and it's a sanding compressor. All sanding compressors have oil refill part on. There is though, like here, but it's not in the middle like this. So this is where the oil stays most of the times. But this one is just at the heart of the 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 bell housing of the or the cylinders. So. I believe that at this very video right here, you've known the reason why your car AC compressor is noisy. One is due, uh, so guys, if you find this very helpful to fixing your car AC problem, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to catch you guys later. This is Dr. Cool Auto Fix. Bye for now. I'll see you on my next video.